all right guys so welcome to another force cam video again don't forget to like and subscribe today we're going to do a tp uh, the tire pressure monitor system we're going to add a little what they call a place card to it okay so again we're using the elm 327 we're going to plug it in down here in the obd2 port mine's upside down i've learned that mine sorry mine click down is for high start off with high and we're gonna hook it up to a laptop here all right so now we're gonna open up four scan up here read some warning signs and we're gonna go down here to connect make sure it's on high see so it tells you right here That's my truck. We're gonna hit yes. Do we have a switch? Click yes. We're gonna switch to switch to high and then hit okay. Let everything load. Once everything loads, it says ready here on the bottom. All right, so now we're gonna go into configurations right here. All right. Right, and we're gonna go into the IPC, okay? So IPC is further down. I'm gonna click down on this side. Uh, IPC, right there, right? We're gonna click on it and run play. Make sure you read all the warning. All right, so now in the IPC, you're gonna go into 720-0401 and that fourth digit that four that I have there is going to be what um, controls this okay so these are two controls the control is both the trailer brake and the the TPMS so here's a little chart that shows you what the value should control So depending on what you have on your truck, then you choose what you want. I'm gonna do C, because I want to control uh, to enable both, okay? So I'm gonna go to right, read the warnings, something just flashed off, it's gonna flash back on. Let's see what it does here. Okay, so went back to the very beginning. So now I see it specified there, 35. So there it is. You see it specified 35 pounds, foot pounds of pressure. Um, I have mine a little high. Actually, I want to put it at 45 because um, the highest rating is 50. So 45 is should be ideal for these tires I have. And if you don't know where you should be, the side of the tire has it. Let me show you here. If you see here, it says load range, max load, single and dual, and 60 PSI, cold, highest you should put it on. So I usually keep mine around 45. All right guys, so that's it now. Let's uh, get out of this right here. So we're going to click on stop here in the bottom. And you can go back to the vehicle on the very top and click disconnect. Okay. Now we're disconnected, not connected, so you can just exit out. And that's it. So thanks for watching another one of our 4Scan videos. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of these other videos I got.